Good morning, Michelle Saxman here and ready to share with you some time with Jesus Calling by Sarah Young on March the 21st. Uh, kind of two or three takeaways on this one. Um, my first one is just a little one and it is my, uh, the strength and the song. And y'all, that reminds me just how this earth and this culture is just so much chaos. And that's all the noise, the cacophony versus the symphony. And he wants to sing. He wants us to sing. And it is a joyous song, even in the midst of circumstances. He wants to bring joy and light and peace and comfort. But this thing of trust me and don't be afraid. Fear, the power of fear and the power of love. And when it says no limit to how much I can strengthen you, coming to him with confident trust. And y'all, that is that positive expectation coming to him with like, Heavenly Father, I thank you for the outcome. I thank you for the healing. I thank you for peace in Europe. I thank you, oh Heavenly Father, for the outcome of the circumstances and putting the positive and bringing these petitions from a place of love and not from a place of fear. So that is my first takeaway. But the fearful places, I, he says, to human weakness, consecrated, lifted up, brought into the light. And y'all, if we do not reveal it, he cannot heal it. He knows us. He knows us inside and out. He knows our weaknesses. But he, this, this whole thing is a journey of self-awareness. And when we can take these broken pieces to him, these areas of weakness, and take it to the creator. Of, y'all, it says, he said, I spoke just with his words. I spoke the universe into existence. So he wants us to have this level of self-awareness so that we can reveal this weakness so that he can heal that weakness. And that is going to be like a magnet drawing even more of his power into it. Um, then my other little tidbit on that one is until we offer it to him, he cannot take it from us. And that is that amazing exchange for policy. But I know, at least speaking for me, in my human nature, I can take it and place it at the foot of the cross. But if it doesn't happen in what I think the time frame should be, I run right back over and I pick it back up and I think I should do more. And our Heavenly Father is like, just release it into me. And let my light shine upon it. Bring me the darkness. Bring me your fears. Do not let your fears block the flow of my light and my love. And y'all, that is the power of the ego. The ego is going to kind of rise up. Um, and not in a bad way. I think the ego, which is very, very cultural, was developed because of experiences that were like, oh, wait a minute, I didn't like that outcome. I didn't like the way that happened. I didn't like the way I was treated. I didn't. And we begin to learn these mechanisms, these, and they're for, for our survival, if you will. But as we go on and we begin putting up these walls around us, our Heavenly Father says, your walls are your wounds, Allow me to bring my healing into that. Uh, consecrate those wounds. Consecrate those walls to me. And then more of my power, more of my strength will be pouring into you. So it's like when these little fears and these not enoughness arise, we can say, you know, thanks for showing up. Thanks for the warning. But this time I'm going to do it differently. I'm going to walk with my heavenly father. I'm going to walk in his light, bask in his love. So trust me and don't be afraid. Rejoice as we journey together toward heaven. Join me in singing this song. Y'all have a super blessed day. Stay connected to the vine and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.